Motto there, peasants, and welcome to. Welcome to. Man Bloody Up Mode. Man Bloody Up Mode, we are here and we are playing on Coal Town round. Sorry, Wave 7 of 7. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what Man Up Mode is, it is basically hard mode of man versus machines. A couple of people have said to me, Jay, what the hell is Man Up Mode? What are you chatting about? I just want to play some. Man versus machine with Yarl, and it's like, well, you know, I'm only interested in man-up mode these days because the normal mode is kind of pointless. I don't get anything for doing it. It's just pointless, really. Now, at the moment, I have completed three of six, and I'm working on the other ones, but oh, they're ridiculous. You can get up to sort of round seven of, like, Coal Town, and not Coal Town, Decoy, sorry, and it's bloody impossible. Same with the endurance on man works. It's just ridiculous. So, I am here with the newly formed Chase Peasants team, which consists of a chap called Hong and some other people. I can't remember the names because they're too small on my screen for me to read. But it was with the other guys anyway, and it was bloody good. It was good fun. We had a good laugh. And we were playing for a good couple of hours. Oh, it was ridiculous. We completed a couple of them, and we sort of just went through it just sort of randomly. So this is one of the games in which we played. I did record a couple, but I decided just to leave this one online. So, what have we got to put up with? We've got to put up with a wave of bloody super fast pain in the ass scouts that come running at us just out of nowhere because they're just ridiculous and at the moment as you can see I'm playing as the heavy ones again now it, well, I was unintentionally playing as the heavy I didn't particularly want to but we did anyway which was a uh, yes which was a bit annoying because I didn't particularly want to play as the heavy at the time but uh yeah, oh well, because pre mainly because of the previous video was also heavy as went as well. I wanted something a little bit different. I love playing the demo man. I think they are great fun on uh, man vs. Machi machine, especially if you're playing with the Scottish Resistance, I believe it's called. Yes, it is. Scottish Bloody Resistance. But once again, I'm playing as the heavy. We are pretty much completely maxed out. And we are going to hell on these guys. We're actually doing very well before we'd not done as we we'd not done this well before. This was definitely the be the best. Obviously it was the best because we finish it, but it was the uh, it was the best just in general. We had a fucking snipers on this thing. They are so annoying the snipers on this on this uh, mode. They are like aim everything on this mode basically has aim bot to the point of 100% freaking aim bot. It's ridiculous the amount they can aim. But Oh well, never mind. We are on... What are we on? We are on the tank now. We're pretty much kicking the tank's ass. It's just slowly going down, but at the same time we had some major issues with these uh, with these scouts. So, if you are playing on this mode, I highly recommend you have someone at the back, roughly where I am, well, where these, these guys are in general, taking down those scouts, because they have a very big tendency to sort of appear behind you and pick up the bomb and run with it. And sometimes you just don't notice. You're so enthralled with what's going on with the tank, you want to kill the tank. The bloody scouts are running in, so you want to keep an eye out for them, definitely. Now, when it comes to the tanks, the tank is not the be-all and end-all. Yes, you want to get it down, because it once it gets there, it's pretty much, you know, you're pretty screwed if it's got a decent amount of health, but at the same time, you want to make sure you're killing everything else. The things that move quicker are going to be the bigger threat to you. The tanks will get hit in the crossfire regardless, so they're going to have some sort of damage being done to them. And you don't want to focus on them too much until everything else is down. Now, I'm conveniently in this little hut here. I have a nice spot where I can take out one of the snipers from being a pest and I can jump back out and, uh, and help these guys. Now when you're moving around you want to keep an eye for what everything is going on. Know where the bomb is at all times if you can. Snipers should be on the priority list to remove from existence because they're so freaking irritating and they're incredibly good shots. As I found out later on today they were constantly bloody pissing me off. They were pissing me off they were. They were just freaking irritating with their stupid lasers. No matter how many times you tell people they're there, they don't seem to... But look, there's another one, look. Joy. Joy. And that's probably me spamming them, like, kill the fucking bastards. Because they're, really, they're just so irritating. They're so annoying. Now I'm still here blocking these scouts from getting down these stairs and they no, you will not get down these stairs with me around, good sir. So let's go and top up the ammo and get back out there. Oh, bloody sniper up there. We managed to snipe him as a freaking heavy. I enjoy sniping his heavies. It is bloody good fun. I'm doing it again there. And I've got my awesome heavy gun. My, uh, my festive minigun. Because, of course, we have no other minigun we can use nowadays. Other than the festive one. Because it's just brilliant. And it has lights that spin around so freaking fast. It's just mania. I don't know how those lights don't get tangled up, come to think of it. There you go. Valve, you have a flaw in your design. Those valve, those lights should be getting tangled up. Left one, Jesus, I got completely nailed by scouts there. That was madness. Madness-like. Madness, man. So what are we doing? 
we're pretty much, to be fair, we're almost done. I mean, look, there's not much of the wave left. There's a couple of big soldiers left to go and a couple of annoying scouts. So we're keeping an eye on that bomb right there. We are keeping an eye on what that bomb is doing. I'm going to whack on a load of crits so we can get these guys down should I need them. I don't really need anything else, so I just spend most of it on the crittage. Crittage, indubitably. I don't know why I have one of these rage things. I don't actually know what it does. I've never actually seen the outcome of what it does. But there we go, using some crits to take him down nice and easy. The medic ubers me. I believe he must have an uber what's it canteen on or something like that. I know there's a sniper around. He's being a pest. I'm trying to avoid him. I can see the lights shining in my face. They're going to snipe him with the grits from across the map. Because that's what I do. I'm a heavy sniper. They're a rare breed. You want to you watch out for heavy snipers. We're not a nice breed to come across. There's another one behind me. I know he's there. I'm panicking. Sniper! Kill the goddamn sniper! And there he is. We managed to get him. Nice! Nice! So in the future, I am planning on I want to do a little sort of... Uh, group sort of one. If I can get DX Tory being not a pain in the ass when it comes to recording on Team Fortress 2, then I will make one because I'd like to get a load of people, or well, six of us in on Skype so we can record the Skype and have a nice live commentary going on. That'd be good fun to do. Because uh, most of the time we're talking during this, it's much easier if you have someone you can talk to. It just makes your life a bit easier, really. There's just uh, nothing you can really do about it. It just makes life easier. So we know that this is probably going to be the last push there can't be much left, there's a tank, and that seems to be pretty much it. So we're all focusing on this tank at the moment, as I'm pretty sure there's nothing left. It's just us and the tank. There's all of us just mowing the tank down, getting some nice crits off there, getting some nice crits. So I'm pretty much just going to allow the, uh, the video to come to an end now. So there you, go, there you have it, guys. There's round seven of Coal Town. Victory is ours, and I get a load of bloody crap. whoop de doo I'm looking for that 6 out of 6 so we can get ourselves a nice special item. So there you have it guys. I shall see you when I see you. When I see you. When I see you. Hope you enjoy the video chaps and there'll be another one appearing post haste because I did another recording. I believe I might have been a demo man. I'm not really sure. I might be lying so there might not be. Anyway guys, I'll just see you when I see you when I see you when I see you. Toodaloo friends in coming. Ouch! Roll!